left out of England on their way over to Europe on the D-Day invasion. The best estimates they have right now are 156,000 plus British, Canadian, U.S. troops, over 6,900 ships, over 2,300 aircraft, all were embarked over to partake, be a part of the invasion of Europe. And I like the transcript here of the General Joyce Eisenhower, who was the Supreme Head Allied Expeditionary Force. Obviously, I won't read all of it, but I will read some of the things that are most noteworthy. He said, soldiers, sailors, airmen of the Allied Expeditionary Force, you are about to embark upon the Great Crusade, toward which many of you strip for many months. You will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of the tyranny over the oppressed people of Europe, and security for yourselves and a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. The best estimate, folks, on the number of casualties were anywhere from 4,000 to 9,000, with at least 4,400 people killed. That equates to more casualties in one day than were suffered in some of the more recent conflicts. And I just want to point that out, that we should never forget that, and point out the sacrifices that those men made on that day. Because I'm sure folks, that many of them knew that they were not gonna be coming back, but they also realized the importance of that and the importance that if they didn't do that, then Europe would not be free. So I never wanna forget that and uh, hope nobody else will. With that folks, welcome aboard. Woo. There you go.